my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica, if you haven't seen me before, and this is Green Hebrew Say, where I just like to talk about plants and take you guys along with on some of my plant tours. Today's tour is I have quite a few plants that need a little bit or a lot of it of TLC. So it's going to be a bit of a repot and just go through with these plants and see what I kind of do in order to give them that TLC that they need. Okay, so the first two plants that I'm actually going to be doing are kind of mine and kind of not. This guy is mine. It is my Tamara, um, well, Begonia Tamara. And as you can see, I planted it a while back with a stake and the stake obviously has moved and he's now settled in this uh, pot like this so he needs to be repotted regardless because he's not stable on his own and look how beautiful this begonia's flowers are so i'm quite chuffed to see that this guy's actually firing and um, looks really pretty and you actually see him on camera now looks really cool what i want to do is this is my friend's begonia tamara that I actually gave her, as you can see, I think it has <laughs> had root rot and yeah, not looking so good. So I want to pot up this one with that one and then give her all of it because I still have my big going tomorrow. So I don't really need this little one as well, even though he looks really beautiful. And then I also have a rapid before a tetrasperma that is hers um, that I gave her a cutting of that also needs a bit of help. So I think I'm actually going to be giving this steak to her the rapid afora tetrasperma. I think the first thing I need to do is get the soil out. Let's take him out of here. And put this one in here for now. Just so it holds up. And let's just get this guy out. So yeah, as you can see the soil is very, very damp. And it does look like it's darkening up here, but the tomorrows do sort of do that. Gosh, the soil's horrible. Wow. Did I not plant this for her? I hope I didn't because this is literally like soaked. I'm hoping this was recently really gross actually. Um, I think I maybe need to find out who's watering her plants and maybe just show them. I also think what's happening is she did have it in a spot that was really, really dark. So I did say to her that when I brought it back, I would show her, well, I mean, he's got quite a nice root system considering, and you know, it doesn't look too dead. This one I obviously haven't altered. And this one I'm just going to leave actually because I'm going to be repotting it so I can pot it up straight but it's quite root bound so I don't actually want to mess with this one's root system too much. I'm going to swap the pots around. Take this one out because we won't need it because it's going to get different trellis. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to give it a trellis. I'm just going to give it a stick to hold it up. I do wish I had planted this in a way that it wasn't going out both ways. Maybe if we pop this back here like that, we'll hide that he's missing all of those leaves and the whole thing will look a little more put together. But this is going to be a bit one-sided though because it doesn't look good from that side. It usually doesn't look too bad. Okay, Let's see if I can just loosen this up a little at the top so I can rearrange it slightly. But I'm quite happy to be giving this back to her with this i think she'll be quite chuffed but like i said i think i'm just gonna have to show her maybe help her find a bit of a better spot for it okay okay 
So I've separated these out and I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but I'm just going to plant them a little bit more. Probably like this. And then that looks quite cute. It looks pretty cute from all ways. The wrap is much bigger, which I definitely think has root drops. Okay, this is definitely all too easy. Um, I'm gonna put begonia in this one because I do think it would look really cute in this um, with the sort of pink blush. So I think that's a good idea. And there's a whole bunch of water in the bottom here, so I'm gonna go chuck that out quick. Now that we've chucked that water out, we're gonna to need to cut it back up into the same size. Just because it's a begonia, their root systems are quite small, especially for how big they get. Like if you think about that, this is three plants root systems, and how tall the plant actually is. It's just yeah, they get very top heavy, I find. Some new soil in here. And this is a public area of a mix. And I think I'm going to steal this steak. The steak that's from her wrap of the floor, because like I said, this I'm gonna be using that for the wrap. I think that'll look Really cute the wrap. Let's see if I can plant these up around. The biggest root system, so we'll copy the first. Watch this look really cute, and I want to keep it for myself. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm, like I said, I think if I find her a nice spot for it to go, it will it'll really thrive and do super well. Um, you know, begonias really aren't that tricky to look after. I'm just going to be using one of these instead of um, the plant tape, but these are very thick strong stalks so I'm not worried about you know suffocating the plant or anything like that and I'm not going to be doing it too tight either and hopefully all of this stands nicely I think it'll be really cute to give it to her with the little with the cute little flowers on. I think she'll be quite chuffed to see that. Because um, he looks really cute and I think it's gonna look really cute in the pot as well. With the, the gold. So the mix that I'm putting it in is very, very barky, as well as it is also really, really, uh, it's got quite a bit of leaf in, a lot of perlite in, so it is a very airy mix, but then it also has some sphagnum moss in it, which is quite nice for things like begonias that do like a little bit more water, so I think really, really soily, it's horrible. Okay, so I'm compacting it quite a bit because I don't want this guy to lean over like he was when I potted him up and then this is the pot pop it in. I will water this as well later but once I've done everything else and I think it looks quite cute I'm wondering if I should attach one of these spikes a little higher up I'm thinking I'm going to leave the one with the flower hanging because that looks pretty. But then these two, I'm going to attach, convince them that they need to be growing up a little higher before they start dropping over. But 
this one I'm just using some not velcro. And then there, I think um, it turned out really cute. Awesome. I actually really love this. <laughs> kind of want to keep it for myself. Okay, now this is her wrap. And I definitely think this guy has reached wrong. Um, so we're gonna see, we're gonna test this out. My battery might die, so I don't know who starts filming when their battery is about to die. It's bugging me. He feels quite loose, but it does feel like there's some roots holding on. But he's also just been recently watered. I think I must actually tell her that when she orders, she needs to take them out of the pots. And, um, yeah, okay. We can see there was definitely some root rot. We've got some roots immediately that are just sitting inside the pot. They've really fallen off. Which is a pity. It's a different, nice, strong root system. But it is growing back. So all the dead roots has rotted off. And he's just been working on growing back some new roots. These are all new fresh looking roots, I think. Okay, I'm going to cut this whole one off here because, as you can see, the soil is extremely wet. I probably should have let it dry out a bit, but I do want to just give them back to her whenever I can. So we chopped him off, but he definitely rotted. And. started to regrow I don't think I'm even gonna bother cutting off some root lots of roots because as I can see over here that's all new root that started growing in this as well so I'm not gonna bug it too much and I am going to be giving her a whole new plant basically and just adding this one in it so she's technically getting a new plant but don't want to throw away you know a plant that has been trying to grow this is all the plant that I'm going to be putting with. These are just a whole bunch of propagations that I have had done. So she probably won't even notice which one is hers in all of this. So we're gonna pot him up quick. This was grown in Lekka, so hopefully the transition will go well considering that somebody else, yeah, that a plant, a friend is gonna be looking after it. That's not like a plant for the person, but I think it should be fine because it looks like they do overwater their stuff quite a bit. So you'll probably find multiple people are watering the plants in their house. It's got lots of lots of bark and all sorts in there. And then I'm going to be giving it this trellis. I think it'll look really cool. And obviously then the raft can grow up this trellis quite nicely. So I'm going to, there's a whole bunch of cuttings in here. So I'm going to try to find the tallest ones for now to put at the very back so that they can start climbing up sort of right up. This one's quite an awkward guy because he's got like these roots over here and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I might hold him in and bend him a little so that he maybe does something like that. And his roots, his aerial roots can then grow. Okay, so he's basically all potted up and he looks really nice and full. And I haven't even actually attached him to this because he kind of just winded in. So once these sort of grow out and fill, I'll tell her that she can attach him to, to the stake. For now, it's small enough that it's holding itself up. And then we're gonna pop it back in this pot because I've actually given him a bigger pot obviously because we put a lot more plants in there. So I think she'll be quite chuffed getting these back in return. Oh no, he looks really cute. So the next guy is also very sad and I'm quite embarrassed about it. But this is um, 
my Hoya Cube Calyx, and it actually, it isn't a splash one, but it was, I bought it because it was showing some really good splash on some of the leaves. So I think this leaf, um, when I bought it, was really nice and splashy. And uh, yeah, it, it just had some really nice splash, whereas now it looks dehydrated and terrible all the time. So I have a feeling that there's not going to be much of a root system. Not even actually sure really what I'm going to do in order to make it feel better, but I do see something happening in there, root wise. They do look a little dry and I don't know. So I don't know what I'm really going to do, but I'm going to pull it out and probably chop it up because this guy is definitely, I don't know, lived a better life. I don't think he's going to be pushing any, any leaves off of that. Okay. So, first glance, nothing too sinister. There's definitely some roots that have um, been quite well dried. I don't know if I want to put it in something different, a different medium, or if I do want to leave it in soil. I almost feel like I want to chop and prop. There isn't really much to chop and prop. So, I'm not sure. And it does have some nice, healthy roots. And some dry roots. I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to plant this section back up because it does have a very nice root system so there's no point trying to chop and pop sort of that but what I am going to do is I am going to potentially cut this, these two leaves off below the node there in hopes of encouraging some and I'm going to propagate that Hope that I can. Ooh. Ooh. That was a horrible cut. Hopefully, I can get some roots growing on that. And I'm probably going to take it one step further and leave this because this is the nice splashy side. And I'm going to pot it up probably in moss and just see if I can't get those to. to root nicely, then I am going to want to, even this guy's not really done very much at all, so that guy, he's got lots of roots, I don't think, ah, these are all dead, that makes sense, okay, so all these roots are dead, I'm going to, so yeah, as you can see, they're all uh, thin and dried out and spindly and there's really not much left. So I'm probably going to chop most of this off as well and let him propagate. So I'm glad I did actually pull him up. Um, yeah, this guy hasn't uh, been living the best life, I don't think. I'm probably going to pop maybe the whole plant up in moss now that I think about it. So I've chopped him off like that. I just got rid of most of the stem because he will grow some new roots from there anyway. Now that I think about it, I'm, I'm pretty sure that all of this is dead as well. There is a little bit here that does have um, some healthy root, but I feel like I'm just going to start over because this guy clearly hasn't been living the best life anyway. So we're just taking all of this off. I'm just going to put him in his cabinet behind me and let him get some good light and grow. So I'm basically going back to stumps here. This is something growing that I don't understand. It almost looks like it's growing a new stem from up here. 
And if anybody knows what this is, please comment or has seen it before. It's, sorry, I'm quite far away from the camera so I can't really stretch over. So I, that's where I've chopped it off and it's got these two big things growing up here. So I'm not sure if those are new stems growing up or if they are some sort of root. But I'd like to think that they are stems growing up. I'm gonna pop this in once it's dried out in the moss as well. And just see if anything happens from this weird looking thing. I'm assuming it's branch that's coming off because I don't think it's roots because that's definitely not what, a, what the rest of the roots look like. It's, I've never seen like thick foyer roots like that. Okay, this guy I'm literally just gonna chop right at the base. And then this would kind of make sense as to why this plant always looks thirsty and shriveled its leaves anyway. And um, I'm cutting this stem off, but I'm probably throwing this away. I'm not happy there, I'm not bothering with that. And probably going to chop this guy up a little bit as well, just because that is a lot of plant to try and sustain itself while it's growing new roots. Don't know if I want to chop it in half again. And then, yeah, because these leaves are like kind of awkward. I would either kind of, if I'm going to propagate this either in moss or water, I think I'm going to go moss. It might just be better to chop it in half like that. Because then I can place them on top. And then all of these I'm going to have to leave for a little while to callus over. And I'm going to chop it here as well. And then that will fit in moss quite nicely. As you can see they all look a little um, thin and thirsty. So I don't think the amount of root that it potentially might have had that was still viable to transport water through to it was really able to. So at least by putting it in moss, I know it's gonna probably have a better start. So I'm gonna leave these guys just for a little while to call this over while I tackle the next foyer. And you guys are gonna be so, I can't believe how bad this other foyer is. It's even worse than this one. It's just a normal foyer carnosa, just a plain green one. And it is not doing well. I put it outside because I wanted it to live outside and I left it there for the whole of winter and I don't think it ever got watered. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't even know if it's worth trying to save, but I'm just going to see what's going on. I mean, we just have dead leaves everywhere, so let me even have a whole dead stalk that I obviously just thought I could throw in there and it would propagate. Oh, there's multiples like that. They did have roots on those, but obviously I just wasn't watering it enough. Um, I feel lots of roots, so he was at some point doing okay in here. That's sad of me. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is all very much dead roots. There is no root here that is worth saving. I don't even know if this plant is. To throw it away or to keep it. Obviously let it die because I wasn't like too keen on it. I mean, look at these poor roots. These are the definition of dried out. Mm. Okay, I mean. Let me show you that. I mean, that really is the definition of a very sad, dried out root that I'm probably going to, if I had to water, would just turn to mush. Oh, I don't know if it's worth... Look, there's definitely some... I feel bad. I always feel bad throwing plants away. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few little cuttings from it, um, but I am probably going to throw a majority of this away. So things like this leaf, I'm probably going to chop off. Anything that just looks a little bit 
burnt and the lemon drops. So there's just kind of one. I'm trying to just see which ones are like. So these leaves are actually healthy leaves. These are probably the perkiest, healthiest looking ones that I see. They are just very sunburnt. So these I'm gonna just chop the roots off. And these might have actually been healthy roots. Oopsie. I'm gonna let these canis over for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and pop these puppies up. But I'm gonna get rid of all of this and just throw all of all of the rest of this away. I do feel very bad, but such is life. Well, I should just throw away. Um, okay. So my maiden hair burn, and it goes through stages of being really beautiful and uh, like this. And I've done this to this so many times, and I'm trying to think if I should just throw it away. So I was actually considering throwing it away when I first like bought this, but I do see like a new little shoot coming up over here. So I think what I'm going to do with this guy, I'm not going to be up popping it because I don't think there's a point. I think what I am going to do though is just chop all the dead stuff off. And then it grows back. And I don't know if I should give myself one more chance with this. As you can see, I had attempted to put moss over it at some point in order to help keep it more moist, but as you can see that is all dry as well. So there's the one new little shoot that's coming up. So what I'll do is, I did want to post this video sooner rather than later, but I am wondering if I should maybe just give this a week or two to grow back and show you that these guys are actually quite resilient. I think a lot of people would throw this plant away at that point, thinking it is dead, but they actually are really, really, really resilient. So as much as people complain about main hair burn and being fussy, which they are because it is, because I have done this many, many, many times, but they come back really quickly. They really don't acquire much once you start watering them again or giving them some good humidity. I even see there's a cute little green one coming up right in there as well. Okay, I am probably not going to post this video when I was planning on it and I'm probably going to give this guy like a week or two because um, I like to sort of, I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you guys like to see this but I do kind of think that like me chopping this and then saying to you guys it'll definitely grow back and it's going to look great and then you would have to maybe come back to another video or go onto my Instagram to find out. Like it just doesn't seem like it finishes the process. It makes sense for me to just give it two weeks, let some grow, and then show you guys in the same video. So you know that like there's a little bit of truth to what I'm saying. So I'm gonna put it back in the pot that the this guy was in, the pubic calyx was in, um, because he fits a bit nicer in that pot. And then I'll let you know where I figure out to put him. That is it for today. I'm either going to see you guys in two weeks to show you how this guy's looking, or I'm going to see you guys tomorrow to show you how I pot up my other six plants. I just wanted to show you um, what I did with the Hoya cuttings. So this was the Hoya Carnosa, just the plain one that uh, I got a few cuttings out of. And this was the Hoya pubicalyx that I also cut most of it up to reroot. So they're both just in sphagnum moss and then inside the, the shelf behind me. This one, if it uh, doesn't do anything, uh, it's whatever, but this one, yeah, I really want this one to do well. Um, I'm sure it'll start rooting soon. They've been in for about two weeks and you can't see any roots or anything yet, but I mean, I wouldn't expect that they would be, would be just yet. So they're just living in here. And then 
Okay, so this is what I really wanted to show you. It's been two weeks since I did that last video. This is the maiden hair fern that is already starting to come back. So in two weeks, those two that I that you guys had seen um, last time were already growing back. And as you can see, another two have also grown. There's four all together. And then we've got this new shoot over here coming as well as two new shoots inside over there coming so yeah after two weeks and i didn't change anything i actually left it where it has always been i'd just be making sure to keep it watered so we'll see how long i keep it watered for until i kill it again um, but i just wanted to show you that these do actually come back really really quickly um, so even if you think your maiden hair fern is dead don't give up on it because i've done this to this unfortunately and very sadly multiple times so yeah they definitely come back and with that i would just like to say thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed this video it was um a bit different uh, just sort of showing plants that uh, i have neglected and um, not really looking after very well or repotting thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you guys did then please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye guys